Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk all about my hair. I'm going to tell you um, about my color, about the cuts, and a couple products that, well not a couple, but I, I guess kind of like a lot of products that I love using in my hair. So hopefully I answer a lot of your guys' questions today. And I also wanted to mention that pretty much every single product that I use is drugstore. Hopefully you guys like this video and keep on watching if you want to know all about my hair. Okay, so to start off, I first wanted to talk about my hair color. I'm not sure if you can tell because of this lighting, but my hair is like a medium brown with light brown highlights in it now. And the story with this is that a few months ago, probably early January, I think, I had gotten honey blonde highlights in my hair and they were way too blonde but luckily my hairstylist had made the highlights demi permanent meaning that they would fade over time and start to slowly match your original hair color so they've now turned into a light brown color which I like so much more than like a blonde so that's why you see the highlights throughout my hair the rest of my hair is more like a medium brown and then my roots up top here since I decided to start growing my hair out naturally is my natural hair color but as you can kind of tell my hair at the bottom here pretty much matches my hair at the top because of the demi-permanent solution that she used. So as for my hair cut, my layers have grown out to about my shoulder down. And my hair is a V-cut, so that means that when you put all of your hair back, it goes into a V rather than straight across. So I used to have side bangs as well, and when I got my side bangs, the really short ones, if you guys remember in my older videos, I used to tell my hairstylist to cut it right at the tip of my nose. So she pulled my hair forward, um, my bangs forward, pulled it to the side, and then she cut it, well, I guess she pulled it to the side, cut it straight across. So I've grown my bangs out now a whole lot longer. They're about to my jawline now, and I just kind of curl them with my straightener. I do actually have some angles going on from where my bangs end like all the way down she like angled it all the way down and I have a couple layers you know stuff like that so that is it for my haircut now I want to quickly talk about all the products that I use my favorite shampoo and conditioner that I've been using for the past couple months is the Tresemme Naturals line it's the shampoo I almost hit my face <laughs> it's the shampoo and conditioner and I got both of these for seven dollars together for $7 total because they were having a really good deal at CVS when I first got them. I have two here in my apartment and two at Matt's house because I stay here five days of the week for school and I go to Matt's house over the weekend. So I, I like it so much that I bought two for here and then the two for Matt's house. So the reason why I like these two so much is because they make my hair feel so soft and silky and I don't know, I just think it works really well for a drugstore shampoo and conditioner and I go through shampoo and conditioner pretty fast so going drugstore is the best way to go for me. I have used higher end stuff um, but so far these, these two are my favorite. Low Sulfate Nourishing Moisture Shampoo with Aloe Vera and Avocado. And that's what that looks like and then the conditioner is called Silicone Free Conditioning with Aloe Vera and Avocado. It's the Nourishing Moisture Conditioner and I actually like to put this in my hair and then wait like three minutes before I rinse it out just so that it really stays, like it really gets my hair moisturized. There are two products that I use no matter what regardless if I do my hair curly or straight and those two products are these two right here. This is my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk. That's a really, really long name. This stuff just always works for me. It never lets me down and it's so cheap. You can just get it at the drugstore. And I really like it because it gets rid of all my frizz and makes my hair shiny. It's just like an extra kick of moisture that I can put in my hair. So this is the Chi Silk Infusion. I like using this because it works as a heat protectant. So it protects my hair from the damage of heat. And at the same time, it makes my hair really, really silky and soft and shiny. So if you guys ever wonder why my hair is so shiny, it's because of the cheese silk infusion. So when I do my hair curly, I will put those two products in, and then I will scrunch my hair with some water to kind of retexture the curls, scrunch it with a towel to get the excess water out of it, and then I will put in my Aveda Be Curly serum I think this is serum it's supposed to be like an all-day frizz control type thing so if you guys have curly hair and um, you 
are trying to combat the frizziness, I would totally suggest using this. It works really well for me. And then when I do my hair straight, I just use the Chisel Confusion, the Garnier Fructis, and then I will immediately go into blow drying my hair with a round brush and then straightening it. Now, whenever I do my bangs, which I do do my bangs every single day pretty much, even though they are longer, I still have to style them because my hair will start like curling like little frizzies up here. So I have to straighten it out every day. And to hold it in place, this is my favorite hairspray. It's the Big Sexy Hair Spray and Play Volumizing Hairspray. It's awesome if you want your hair to stay in place and not move at all. So I wash my body every single day, but for my hair, I normally wash it every other day. So on the second day, if I do decide to um, put heat on it and curl it or straighten it or something like that, I will always use my Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray just to prevent any damage from the heat. And this stuff works really good. I will also use my Suave Dry Shampoo Spray. <laughs> and I just like squirt it in my roots and it works really well. It smells good too. So... Alright guys, I think that is it for everything. If you have any further questions, just comment below and let me know and I'll try and answer everybody's questions. Hopefully I went over everything. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!